G'day mates, Home Slice here, and welcome back to Vampire. We're up to part 26 now, and previously we just defeated um, George McCullum and found out that Dr. Swansea actually unintentionally uh, created uh, the virus by injecting Harriet Jones with um, Lady Ashbury's blood via a transfusion. Um, before I started recording, I just ran here uh, to Lady Ashbury's house uh, because our objective was to talk to her, and I just didn't decided to not include the uh, journey from the theater to here. Um, at the end of the last one, I said I would have some like more thoughts on the decisions in that episode and. Uh, regarding turning McCullum into a vampire, I still pretty much stand by it. Um, the dialogue system just isn't clear enough with, like, what the outcome of our decisions will be, and that's, like, my biggest gripe with the game is that it's just not clear enough. Um, it ended up being an evil choice, and, you know, I didn't know what to think really may i thought that maybe turning him into a vampire would um maybe change his view or something we haven't like seen him or maybe he'll die during the transformation actually we don't know yet but um yeah i that was like decided by a coin flip so i'm not going to like ponder too much on that one but regarding swansea i pretty much stand by what I did with him as well. I, I don't think he's like an evil man and I think he wants to really help mankind. So that's why I turned him. It was either kill him, let him die just naturally to uh, from his wounds or turn him into a vampire. And I think turning him, like he could still like greatly help humanity if he's still alive. He'd just be a waste of a life. I mean, he's obviously caused so much death uh, by transfusing that blood into Harriet Jones, but like he said, it was never his intention. Um, but yeah, I won't uh, talk about that too much longer anyway. Let's go inside and talk to Lady Ashbury. Okay, we're inside. Um, another thing is, uh, I don't know if I slept in the last episode, but as you can see, like, all of the districts have pretty much went to shit apart from uh, Pembroke. Um, this place has been long gone for a while now, again, because the dialogue options were just not clear enough, and sparing Sean Hampton was, like, the wrong choice, you know, had no idea that it had result the way it did, same with this, um, I mesmerized Dorothy Crane and didn't think we'd, like, mind rape her the way Jonathan did, and somehow she turned into a skull, and the her place got, like, overrun and shit, and this place, um, killing Aloysius Dor- I don't think that had too much of an effect, actually, but all these guys have, uh, got, like, sick now, but, yeah, no, no point talking about that too much, just like the, uh, thing with Swansea, I'll just head upstairs and let's talk to Lady Ashbury and see what's happening. Ooh, cutscene. Oh, she finished painting what us? Good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan. Uh, I don't think you will it, like the news very much. I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. Mm. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Ah, uh, here we go. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him, or to punish him. To punish him? I fail to understand. And what is the source of this cold tone in your voice? Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease. To exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic, but he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. Yeah. How could he do it? 
What happened? He was a criminal. He was stupid. He gave no heed to ethics. I don't know if he broke any laws, like, with the blood transfusion with Lady Ashbury's blood. I don't... That could just be me being stupid, but I don't know... I guess it depend on the situation, but I don't know if he technically broke any laws with it. Um, he was definitely stupid because, you know, experimenting with vampire blood and, like, mixing it with human blood and stuff hasn't had good results in the past. Maybe if it was, like, some sort of contained experiment with, like, where it's quarantined off from everywhere else. And he was definitely unethical as well. Um, because I don't know if he deceived, like, the patient. I mean, he definitely deceived Lady Ashby because he took her blood without telling her, I think he said. He kept samples for himself or something. I mean, it's got to be one of these two. Uh, yeah, I don't know about the law. So, I mean, I probably wouldn't go with this one anyway because I think like either of these trumps this one here but I think I'll just go for he was stupid because he was definitely very stupid with what he did Edgar's behavior was beyond lunacy he had neither the discipline knowledge nor the proper facilities to conduct blood experiments I must say I'm shocked Jonathan who would have thought it and the poor patient let me guess it was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected and how she became an icor. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Yeah. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? <sighs> there it is. No. No. This can't be. Oh, God. oh shit. Elizabeth. <gasps> are you all right? <sighs> I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Why? Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear, I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. What? Why did she just leave like that? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I guess she finished the painting and is, was on to a new one. Uh... Oh, gather the ingredients for the antidote. Obtain a drop of William Marshall's blood from Lord... Well, he's banished us, so we're probably going to have to kill him for that. Obtain a drop of King Arthur's blood from Geoffrey McCollum. He probably... We might need to kill him because he'll resent us for turning him into a vampire. Search for insulin in the old morgue of the Pembroke Hospital. I okay, well... oh. Was that shiny? Ah, oh, just from that. I thought it was lootable, but no. Ah, oh, shit. We've got a fair bit to do then. Uh, let's leave this place and get on the move. Alright, loading screen done. We've got a fair bit of ground to cover, but um, we can do it. Um, if you hear like a sort of ringing sound in the background, that's just my cat's collar. He's just chilling on my now bed. Now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster. I think I know where to find what I need. Yeah, let's go over here first. This is towards the west. Yeah, to the west end. God, this is... I think we're going to have to kill, like, everyone inside the Ascalon Club. Because, like Will... Uh, not William Marshall, bloody... Lord Redgrave said... We are banished and we're going to be smote down if he uh, sees us Whose or... Whose blood could be purer than that of William Marshall? Lord Redgrave will have to spare me a drop. 
I don't think he's going to like that, but okay. Oh, is he actually back in here now? What? Okay. Guess he was walking around. Evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker profited it to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. Don't interfere with my mission. Cease this farce. This is the city's last hope. Yeah, we'll go for this one. This is more important than the club, you or me. This is London's last hope. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. If you wow. manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. What Our the fate lies wholly in your hands. Okay, that was uh, a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought we'd need to kill him or we'd have a boss fight or something. Uh, but damn, okay. Uh, where's the inventory here? Wow, a few drops of his blood in a small sealed bottle. Well, uh, let's go get the... It, it's a very uh, long walk there, so I will cut when we reach um, either Jeffrey McCullum or the Pembroke Hospital. So, yeah, let's get back on the move. One sec. Okay, I just finished uh, killing a bunch of guys in here. The battle was uh, quite tough. But we're inside the hospital now, and we've got... It appears we have the ingredient here, so let's uh, grab this and see what Jonathan has to say. There it is. Insulin. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous than me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu. No, oh, but I thought the whole garlic thing was a myth. Uh, oh, we've got another set of stairs here, it looks like. I don't know if I searched this the first time I was here. Are oh, we? Got a guy here to kill. Alright, he was uh, nice and easy, but it looks like we can't actually get through either door here. So, just like with what I did here, I'll uh, cut to when we actually... Uh, obtain a drop of King Arthur's blood from Geoffrey McCullum, just for, uh, as the objective says. I'll cut to when we're up to that, so yeah, be back in a second. Alright, that's the end of that one. We're gonna have dialogue with him now? Can we? Okay, we can. Good evening, Vampire Hunter. Are you here to mock me, Reed? Not at all, McCullum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic. Why would you... Ah. Uh, you found Marshall's memoirs. Or should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to. But I must know more. What precisely are your plans? Wow, I'm surprised he's being this nice with us after we've turned him into a vampire. But yeah, we're just going to be straight up with him. I can stop the epidemics, apparently anyway, according to those notes, with this mixture of ingredients. I have found the carrier, McCullum. The infection source. It may be science, or some supernatural power that's responsible for all this. But I will harness either, or both, to end the epidemic. A vampire doctor. My god, you're a terrifying creature. Jonathan Emmett Reed. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. 
I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. Can we speak more? I'm surprised we've got the option for more dialogue and yeah, I'm just like Redgrave. I'm surprised you're so nice with us. Thank you. Can we speak more? Indeed. Why not? Why come here? Why are you here? The man who raised me after the brutal murder of my parents. He's buried here. Murder of your parents. Why would you want to go to there? Were both your parents killed by vampires? Yes. Oh. And yet worse. My father returned to Dublin a vampire and tore out my mother's throat. Wow, that's pretty gnarly. And who was this man? Carl Eldritch. One time leader of Prewin. He killed my father in front of me. Helped me hunt my brother Ain after teaching me how to kill leeches. Hmm, he probably just heard my cat meow. He wants to leave the room, so. I'll... How are you adapting to immortality? I feel so powerful, it gives me shivers. I could be the greatest vampire hunter ever. Your worst nightmare in truth. Leave the guard. Yeah, wouldn't he just be exiled, like kicked out just for, for being a vampire? Will you leave the guard now that you are what you are? Are we not creatures of deceit? I could hide my nature from my men or name a successor. Go my own way. I know not yet my path. Mm, that is true, but sure, wouldn't they be able to like spot that he's a vampire now like surely there'd be experts like him that would just know if you're a vampire or not he's still like true to his cause will you hunt me down not for now hold on but you had better behave doctor or i may change my mind all right well let's uh finish talking to him and i'm gonna let my cat out of my room Fair. do not stretch yeah, one sec. Uh, we'll... Yeah, I'll find the hideout to... Cr I'll cut to when I've found this hideout to create the antidote, and I need to let my cat out of my room. So, yeah, one sec. Let's do this thing. Okay. Uh, William Marsh... Analyze to view bl blueprints. All right. There we go. Antidote. Created by following the tier of angels recipe. Alright, let's do it. Let's craft this. What's Jonathan gonna have to say? The blend seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. Destroy the origin of the Skulls epidemic. Well, I guess, yeah, we've got to make, make our way to... Over here now, so... Just like uh, the other objectives, instead of running the whole way there um i'll just cut it to when we're here unless like something important happens or there's some sort of important dialogue so yeah once again be back okay i've reached the uh skull hideout in the sewers here and we're about to locate harriet this jones this place has been ransacked okay they've all been slaughtered Oh. No, not their style. Maybe she's done it? Maybe she's like finally like morphed into whatever it was she was morphing into. Is she gonna be in this room still? Let's see. Where has Harriet gone? She must have left a trail I could follow. Yeah, okay, well I guess we're gonna follow this blood trail. God, massive pools of blood everywhere. Hopefully we're going the right way here. Oh, shit, yeah, was this... Oh, yeah, this was here before, I think. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna walk down here. Oh, what about that, though? Yeah, there's a few holes, like, in the walls. Okay, that sounded like a unique sort of scream there. 
So we're going to keep following this here. I assume it'll go to like a boss arena or something. She must be like a boss. I thought Lord Redgrave was going to be a boss and he wasn't. So we must have like one left in store, right? Okay. Yeah, this is not like hinting at all. Oh, shit. Oh, our maker. What's he going to have to say? We still don't know who he is. I wonder who it is. Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. What? All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. Your true appearance. Yeah, I have been wondering that. Like, is that w what he actually look looks like? What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. You are made of blood? Oh, I thought he was like some sort of ethereal ghost or something. That doesn't look like blood to me. I don't know. Blood? You are made of blood? Surely you are joking. Why would I? And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth and for eternity. What? I don't get this. But who are you really? Tell me your name. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. I have many names. Just give me one then. There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. I still don't... That, that still doesn't really tell me much. But yeah, why choose me? And this Red Goddess, I think he's talked about a Red Goddess before. I could be wrong though. Just trying to think. But, yeah, let's not dally. Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern, scientific answer to this ancient, mystical threat. That makes sense, actually. If it was just, like, some random person, then, like, would they have had the knowledge or resources to make a cure? Probably not. I assume that's what he means. What kind of modern answer? Disease, contagion, and contamination. How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this land. Okay. Ancient threat. Yeah, what is this ancient threat? Speak to me of this ancient threat. The blood of hate. Vessel of the wrath of the goddess. When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world, for she is hunger and anger. Oh. I thought he was. I thought we meant, um. the plague or, like, the epidemic or something, because it's happened before, but no, I guess this is something completely new. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original character. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. Okay. What is a disaster? I assume he means some sort of specific disaster. Tell me about this disaster. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger 
born through blood. Its name means bad star, for they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. Who is this queen? Does he mean the red goddess? But I thought he said he served the red goddess. Maybe he does, but he wants to stop her? Like, God, so many new questions. Every bloody time this guy pops up. And who is this queen? She is the red goddess. The queen of blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. Oh. She is yours. The Morrigan, the Celtic goddess of war. Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. Wow. But know this, she is a vengeful mother. Okay. <sighs> Just like he said about, like, comprehension, all of this, it's so much to take in. But, yeah, let's continue with the dialogue. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. But a disaster is, at the same time, both less and more. Tell me what it is, then. In your own words. A disaster is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. Okay, and that putrid vessel is Harriet Jones, I suppose. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. Wait. So if we killed the Red Goddess somehow, we wouldn't need blood anymore? Is that what he means? Would it take that requirement out of the picture? That'd be good if it did, but I assume that'd like strip of just of all of our vampire related stuff, like I could be completely wrong with what I just said or like my interpretation of what he meant but that's pretty crazy yeah I only want to stop this epidemic god this this boss fight I I'm pretty nervous if it is a boss fight I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic to perform an act so noble you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge. My champion, Bittersweet. Okay. Will it be over then? Yeah, what, what's going to happen? God. Will it be over then? Once I've defeated this creature. Yes. The threat will dissipate like so much smoke. For you will have purified its source. Wow. And then what? What will become of me? How would I know? I am no god. And your fate is in your own hands. For you are our champion. Does he mean that all people inf infected with whatever it is that Harry Jones has will be cured? Again, my interpretation of what he said could be muffled, but I think that's what he means. Because we're killing the source, we're going to get rid of the, in the infection entirely. What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all and teach us humility. You are our final hope. Alright then. 
I'm not your champion. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. Alright, well, I guess that's the end of that. Well, we're gonna have to fight her up here, right? This is a very large area, so it must be a boss arena. Oh, maybe I'm mistaken. Alright, it's that way. But let's go this way first. Don't wanna... I'm, I guess this would be locked over here? Right? Oh, it's not. Uh, and it's not a loading screen, so I will... Unlock that there. Uh, but no, I want to go back in and fight her, of course. Unless she is back there, but I doubt it, as the blood trail goes this way. But I need blood. This if this boss fight is, like, really long, then I will cut it out. Because this one's already very long as it is. Oh god, there she is. She's gonna get all fucked up. She's spitting it into the water! Wait, no, that's the sewage. So it doesn't matter, right? Oh, I'm sick. So sick. Doctor, help me, please. I'm in such pain. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you. <coughs> oh. Ugh. My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet, you must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Fucking hell. Oh, this is it then. All right, let's do this shit. Oh, where is she now? Disaster, Harriet. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I didn't expect that. Oh god, I hate those bloody. Oh, oh, that hurt. Okay, there must there must be like phases, right? She's taking way too much damage. Okay. Oh, I can just... Oh, no, I don't want to die. Reload. We're almost there. No way that's it. Oh, is she going to explode? Like the other ones? Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, that's the blood! That's the blood! Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I know it. Oh. Oh, there's bloody blood. Everywhere. Heal. Alright, I'm gonna switch my shotgun out to this one. Oh, I don't have many bullets, but whatever. Okay. Okay, that doesn't actually do any... Oh, we've got ads now. Oh, boy. Oh, and of course this locks onto... Damn, I want to lock onto the queen. Wait, did she get health back from that? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, I don't have any more healing. 
I can't afford to take this damage. Reload. Oh. Give me more. They are so young, so tasty. Oh, that hurts. Oh, fuck. I've fucked this. Use this. Oh, that did barely anything, but... Holy crap. Am I taking, like, passive damage? Or was she going to do, like, an AoE? Oh, I thought so. She will sort of looked like she was sort of... Oh, no. I'm so fucked. I have my ultimate in 20. Wow, this is... A... Oh, what the hell was that? Holy shit, I did it. No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. What the f fuck was that? Our mortal affairs are just petty and meaningless compared to the shit they get up to. Holy shit, that was... So over then, young Ekon. Who is that? You have put an end to this terrible... Oh. Mess. Bridget. Old Bridget? What are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred. By the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered with all the other sewer scars. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over now. London is no longer shrouded in the disaster's shadow. Mm. We're all safe. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed newborn vampire stepped forward and saved us all i'm honored to be part of this city's legend thank you old bridget may i ask you just one question how could i refuse you anything now i'll answer just as i answered lady ashbury when we met a few nights ago who are you really i was born with the name bridget eleanor wellington in 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Wow. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. Holy shit. And I sincerely hope it will find you too. Now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. What? Go then, oh. Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. I knew she had some sort of connection to Lord Redgrave. I never would have guessed wife, though. I was going to say, I wonder what happened to old Bridget. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal. 
people to another, from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Yeah, who knows? Oh, another cutscene. Wow, that's a very nice image there. Uh, I guess that could mean a sequel. I've been reading a few articles online and apparently, um, Don't Nod or Focus Interactive, like the guys who did this game, um, have a really big announcement soon. I don't know if it's going to be like a new IP or a sequel of well, like... Well, this is it. Lady Ashbury's Domain. Why huh. am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better hurry. Oh, okay. I didn't think we'd be able to walk around again, but, uh, yeah, let's do it. I assume this is going to take a while, but, uh, oh, no, here we go again. Here he is again. Or is it going to be the goddess this time? No, it's him. He's got the horns, right? Beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here at long last. Wait. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from when she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. Thanks, I guess. I was gonna say, the sun is, like, up, so why aren't we burning to death? Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Have you the answer? All icons are female, icons are contagious. I don't know. I noticed that all the icons were female, as if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman, as was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster hath been cast upon this wobbling Fair enough, I guess. Icors seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into skulls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics, or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. I don't know. Honestly, my brain's pretty wrapped right now, but... About the Red Queen. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep now that enough people have suffered. Is that it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. Cool, I guess. And what are you to her? Her counterpart? Her opponent in some timeless game? She is my mother. My dreadful and sour-tempered mother. She is yours too, in a way, but you are not born from her terrible womb like me. You are but a distant child. Makes sense, I guess. What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant ghostly queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. Okay. 
This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. Tis unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. What of the Brotherhood? What will become of the Brotherhood? I foresee trouble for them now that your progeny considers becoming the new primate. But I'm certain the current primate has no wish to resign. Exactly. And I am not fully convinced your progeny truly understands what dreadful power he is about to defy. Okay, that doesn't sound good. What will become of the vampire hunters? In their leader, you now have a spy behind enemy lines. By guiding your progeny, you may yet protect your immortal friends for some time to come. If you dare. Okay, maybe turning him into a vampire was the good choice? I don't even know anymore. I'm just going to keep asking questions. What will happen to Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere with petty political intrigues. Ascalon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a deceit cannot last forever. But Lord Redgrave definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. Does that mean William Marshall is still alive? He just said it was all a big lie. So maybe that means he's not dead. And the Ascalon Club was founded upon a big lie. <sighs> Let's keep going. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No. She is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you. Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural. My God, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words you no longer hear the simplest words. I don't know. Who are your sons? Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son, as is William Marshall. How many have you created? Yeah, probably hundreds or something, right? There is so much room for seek for a sequel or seek walls. Like who who knows how deep this could all go? This is madness. How many have you created? Who else? Shakespeare? Isaac <laughs> Newton? Alfred the Great? Francis Drake? Thomas More? Guy Fawkes? My progeny is scarce, for I rarely feel the urge to protect this land anymore. But yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Are you serious? Meet one night. Oh god, I need to know which one now. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat some threat born from a dreaming devil. No. You are my sons. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. Oh, well, that's nice of him at least. A serum made of King Arthur's blood. When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. Whose blood was it? You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of greatest peril. What? King Arthur was also your progeny. Why am I not surprised? Yes, he was. But he failed in the end. And for centuries the land suffered his defeat. King Arthur was 
a vampire. I speculated that either in the last episode or earlier in this one, but doesn't that mean if McCullum drunk that blood that he should have turned into a vampire? Like Arthur's progeny? So, if we spared him, would he have turned into a vampire anyway? Because he drank King Arthur's blood, and that's vampire blood. You drink vampire blood, you turn into one. Or wouldn't King Arthur's blood of all people be stronger than Jonathan's blood? So wouldn't he be a vampire as a result of King Arthur's blood? Or maybe when we turned him, that counteracted it. Like, I don't know. That's crazy. I think that might actually be a bit of a plot hole. If there's a sequel, like, if you spared him, if you spare him, and there's a sequel and he's in it, and he's not a vampire, that wouldn't make any sense. Because he drank King Arthur's blood, and he was a vampire, and if you drink the vampire blood, you turn into one. So if you spare him and he isn't a vampire in the sequel, that's a pretty big plot hole, but I guess we'll see how it all unfolds. I have no idea. Tell me about William Marshall. Why is his blood so strong? He is not stronger than you. Only older. You are strong, Jonathan Reed. A champion of your time, chosen to defeat a threat spawned of this generation. Okay, is he here? Yeah, is he still alive? Is he here? Is William Marshall here? Is that why you're here now, too? Have I not already answered that question? Yeah, he said he was coming to see his sons or something. His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed. That which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed, I suppose. For the blood of hate would have corrupted you too. Wow. Well, good thing it turned out this way then. Speak clearly then. And answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon. Okay. Holy crap, this has been bloody insane. This is red. Can we not go through here? It's locked. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. Okay, well that took me longer than it should have, but I thought I was looking for a moon and like a physical sword. Ah, oh, well, let's just head down here now and have a talk to Lady Ashbury. If she's down here, maybe she's somewhere else, I don't know. Makes sense that she'd be down here though, but what do we got here? Another book. Ancient... Tome 1217. Wow. 1350, 1569, 78, 1618, 65, 66, 7, 1712, 1785. I cannot read all this. 86. Right now, the my recording is telling me it's over two hours. Two hours and three minutes a lot of that is going to get cut out but this is still going to be probably the longest video i've ever done on the channel uh, but yes let's keep searching down here this is cool as hell though i like this castle be a good spot for vampires to hang out oh there's like hidden chambers back here sword, father. you have nothing to be afraid of who's that she said father. Does she mean her actual father or like a priest? Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You taught me that. What is going on here? Blood is approaching. 
old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Gaution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, father. What took you so long, Jonathan? Your puzzle was annoying. That's Is what. Is this really him? Yes. This is William Marshall. Wow, so he is First alive. Earl of Pembroke, servant of five mortal kings, former regent and savior of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father. For he gave me eternal life and much more. Wow. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. Yeah. Holy shit. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. All right, one last set of dialogue, I suppose. Will you go back to London? No, Jonathan. I do not intend to. And what of your daughter? Charlotte is a strong, independent woman who is about to come into money. I took care of everything. Now it's time for her to shape her future. Well, she is sort of crazy, so I'd check in on her every now and then, but, you know, let's keep asking. Why did you flee here? When you told me I was the healthy carrier, I had nowhere else to go. You mean you had to return to the real source of this scourge? Yes, to end it once and for all. Where are we? Yeah, he said it wasn't actually on the map. Where are we? What is this place? This is the Ashbury Estate. I inherited the title when I purchased the castle. Is this place your retreat? Is this your retreat? Something of a secret place? It's more of a sanctuary, really. This is where I take care of my father. Ever since he became unwell. How has he become unwell? He's a, They're supposed to live forever, right? Vampires? Like all Ekons? Maybe they still age. Like, I don't know. So many more questions have just come from this dialogue here. Are you not afraid someone might discover you here? It's not that hard to find. Do not assume that I would hesitate to silence anyone who tried to reveal my secret. Fortunately... It has rarely come to that. Good, I suppose. London saved, though. I have destroyed the disaster, this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. Yes. You did well, Jonathan. You truly saved the city. Yes, we did. Despite all obstacles. I'm truly convinced we did it together, Elizabeth. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation. Yeah. And the will of a creature so inexplicably evil, she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. We could cure him. Is he sick with it? We could cure him. It's too late. The blood of hate has run for too long. The antidote would not work on him. Why? I tried. Oh. Believe me, I tried. Why wouldn't it, though? That doesn't make any sense just because he's old. Doesn't mean I'd just stop it, right? Is he dangerous? What do you think? He is a thirsty Ekon who has not fed in centuries. Oh. A vampire, driven by an urge to kill and spread the blood of hate. Okay, so that's why he's so frail, because he hasn't fed for this long. No redemption, then. 
And yet he thinks he has been offered immortality by the angels to protect the feeble and to smite the unholy. Can he communicate? Well, he did just talk, right? Can he communicate? Yes. Sometimes he even seems like the noble knight who saved and raised me. But, you know, the malice never fully leaves his eyes. Oh, that's sort of sad, really. Why are you hiding William Marshall here? How could I not take care of him? He sacrificed himself by giving me the only dose of antidote he had. Hey, wow. He gave you the antidote? Yes. And in doing so, he knew he'd have to be confined here. And yet he volunteered. That's how great a man William Marshall was. And still is. Oh, far out. What do you do for him? I visit him as often as possible. I paint the landscapes he will never see again. I feed him with my blood. You feed him? You barely sustain yourself on the weak blood of the dying, yet you give him your blood? After he saved me from the blood rage, I swore I would never kill to feed. He said the same. But he's all frail because he has, like, no blood. How much blood does he need to not be all weak? William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. Far out. What about us? What do you mean? You know my feelings towards you, Elizabeth. But you left without a word. So I'm worried about your feelings towards me. I love you, Jonathan. I've loved you since the moment I saw you rescue poor Mr. Hampton in that filthy slaughterhouse, forgetting the danger as you turned your back, like the newborn fool you were. How did you meet him? How did you meet William Marshall? He was an Ekon for centuries when he found me. He saved me from certain death by making me his progeny. Why did he choose you? Why did he choose you? You should ask him that. Oh, we're gonna get to talk to him as well? Did you ever blame him? Not even when he was infected and bit me. He is my father. He raised me. He taught me how to behave. Who are you really? <laughs> we still, after all that, we still really don't know, like, as it's much of a story as it is. Who are you, really? How could I answer that? I went through many lives and identities to reach this day. To you, I am Elizabeth Ashbury, and that's all I wish to be. I need to know more. I respect your desire for privacy. Oh, God, I hate this sort of dilemma. I really do want to know more, but I also respect a desire for privacy. And I think that's... Oh, shit, see, I don't know which one's more important. That's, uh, I'll just respect her privacy, I guess. I understand. And I respect your desire for privacy. Thank you, Jonathan. You should have told me. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. 
Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Okay. Are we gonna have to kill her? Is that what is going on here? Yes, Sir William. My God. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want then? About the disaster. I found and defeated the disaster that was threatening to smite London. You should know that the city is safe for now, Sir William. Then may I call you brother? Did you resist its poison? Yes. Even a scratch from a beast so evil could endanger you and all those you care for. Who was the one you defeated? You also defeated one in 1666. Who was it? She was a malicious witch who spread plague throughout the city with her army of rats. She had been hiding in a bakery in Pudding Lane for months when I finally found her. That's pretty messed up. How did you defeat it? We fought for hours. In the end, I had to lock her in St. Paul's Cathedral and burn the building down. I wanted to be sure she was destroyed. Yeah, well, got to take those sort of measures, I guess. That sort of situation. I found your research on the antidote. The tears of the angels. What ingredients did you use? Once I understood what the ingredients were, I used the tears of King Richard and the pure blood of the valiant Bodicea. I don't know who that is. King Richard and Bodicea? How did you find such relics? It took me many years to locate their hiding place. Then I had to learn the formula. If I recall, it belonged to an ancient brotherhood. The Order of St. Paul, I believe. Wow. And did it work? Yes. The tears cleansed my poor Elizabeth's blackened heart. It was such a blessing to see her smile again. Tell me about the blood of hate. The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. But that's all it takes, right? Like, it's still there, and it has to die, right? Can we speak about the Morrigan? The Red Queen. What of her? You met her, did you not? You met her, did you not? Just once. But she never ceased to sing to me. I love her song. It is a song of blood and war. I only wish she would sometimes let me rest. Do you know who she is? Do you know who she is? I don't want to discuss this in front of my sweet Elizabeth. Why? For a time, she too could hear the red song. The steps she danced to its melody brought pain upon the world. Okay, then. I would like to ask you about vampires. Vampires? What about them? Considering your experience, please tell me what you know. They are terrible creatures. I have seen and fought many in my time. Foul temptresses with sharp claws and shrieking beaks. 
Never seen such a creature. I have never seen such a creature. What are you talking about? Of course you've never seen a creature like them. Vampires are deadly, swift and implacable. Where did you encounter them? Where did you encounter such creatures? The last time I saw one was in a Celtic temple near Salisbury. A terrible and godforsaken place full of ghosts and pestilence. Unlucky, I guess. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker. For he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. What? Is... Is, like, God real in this universe? Is that what he means? Or... Because... Wouldn't that make Murden or, like, Michael an act A real angel? But... They're actually vampires or something? I don't know what's going on anymore. Did you really sacrifice yourself to save her? That was the only righteous path. The blood of hate made me betray her. I am at peace here. I can think about what I've done and how I failed. Do you want to be cured? Do you not want to be cured? No. This Hunger is mine. I would feel empty without it. It has been part of me for so long. All I want is quiet. Silence. Fair call. You agreed to be confined here then? Yes. Once I was sure she was cured, I asked to be locked down here. I deserve it. The world needs it. Oh, God. I, I'm just going to ask How away. Did you meet Elizabeth? Times were tough. I had awakened to protect the land from a new plague. I heard her sing for her dead family. Singing for her death to come. I chose to save her. God, yes. Yeah probably been through a lot. When was that? It was so long ago. A few years after Elizabeth of England and Catherine of France established their alliance against Spain. Alright, I don't know exactly how long that was. What did you do? I raised her as my progeny. After she left to see the world, I rebuilt her deceased parents' inn owned it as William Thorne for a time. Those were good years. Tell me about Elizabeth. How was she infected? I do not wish to discuss it. Please, Sir William. I need to know what the blood of hate is. How is it transmitted? After defeating the disaster in St. Paul's Cathedral, I returned to my retreat, infected. This is where my sweet Elizabeth found me, for she heard my pain from across the sea. Where is that retreat? Where is this retreat you mentioned? In London, under Temple Church, beneath my empty tomb. I always love to sleep there while listening to the bell above. Okay. What happened then? The blood of hate had twisted me into a rage-filled man. I attacked my progeny and infected her too. Forgive me, Elizabeth. I failed you. You bit her again? Is that how she was infected with the disaster's blood? I think I understand now. Elizabeth fled, and I fell to my knees, 
begging for forgiveness. I swore I would find a way to make things right. God, so much shit has happened over so many years. We could set you free, let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Okay, he could just like go up to the ground floor and look Has out a window. Come? Yes, father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time. Because... You already are the sky. And all its stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear. For it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. I guess this is the end then. <gasps> Farewell, father. <laughs> and to you also, Jonathan. What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No. Oh, shit. I won't allow this to happen. I am death, Jonathan. Wherever I go, I can't stand it. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, champion of Murden, chosen to save England from the vampire epidemic. I could cure you. What do you mean? We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. <sighs> that is a risk I cannot take, Jonathan. I won't bring another such disaster into this world. Elizabeth, no. Trust me. I can save you. Just How could I trust you, Jonathan? How could I take such a chance? I'll stay here with you then. As long as we must until I find a cure. You have no idea what you're talking about, Jonathan. Despite his madness, William was strong enough to start the centuries. I doubt we can do the same. We will lock ourselves down then. I'll get all the material I need and I'll perform my research here with you until you're cured. Are you mad? Who would take care of us? Who would free us if it takes decades or even more? Old Bridget will take care of us. You are serious, aren't you? That sort of you makes really are ready to do this. sense. I love you, Elizabeth. I can do this. Please stay with me. I... I believe you. This is crazy, but... I believe you, Jonathan. Is that one prayer for the summoned called by this song? Child born from darkness, whose path you must find. Now the song is sung, and your path chosen. England is safe, for you have prevailed. I bid you farewell, my champion, bittersweet. You found yourself a newer quest, and so I leave you to it. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until, alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. Is that a good ending? I don't... 
that sounded pretty good to me, like London's safe and the Queen sleeps or whatever, but holy crap, I have a lot to say, but this has went on for so long, I will end it here unless there is uh, like an easter egg in the credits, so... Yeah, I, I was thinking about splitting this into two parts, but I'm, ju I'm just going to have a super duper long one in one episode. So yeah, I'll end it here, unless, like I just said, there's going to be something, uh, an easter egg in the credits. Peace in the Middle East, and may all your games be good ones.